All right, everybody. So before we get into this, I was asked, which is my all time favorite head? What do I think the best head ever made? And I'm gonna tell you, it's this one right here. They're very hard to get. I think there's one on reverb for by the time you pay taxes and stuff, it's gonna cost you two grand chip. It might even be a marketplace. Um, they're 40 watts and you can cut them in half. 40 to 60 watts is perfect to crank and get that kind of tone that you're looking for out of it. But we, before I get into this, uh, no matter what you like on my channel, and thanks for all the new subscribers, I, um, there's something for everybody. So if you don't like the way that I play, you don't have to shred a lick. You could take that and apply it to the way that you want to play, such as, you know, you take a shreddy lick like that and play it soft. You, it's the technique that you're after and, and the idea to make it your own. I don't want you to play like me, so we'll get that out of the right way. Um, there's, there's still over 200 videos on here. There's something for everybody. Again, this is a non-edited, non-BS channel. I'm not gonna lie, everything I bought in my studio is all mine. Paid cash for my money. I'm not bought and sold. I'm not looking to advertise for people. I will help people out um, if I feel it. But, you know, this is my opinion and it's because it's my channel. I'm not gonna endorse products, just get free products like most of these YouTube people on here. I'm, I'm just not about that. Um, I played in a bunch of signed bands and filled in for signed bands. I write for major label artists. I don't need cash. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I came back because of that. I had, was on here a long time ago and I just don't want to do that no more. Second is, before I get into this, we have to understand amp history. In 1962, there was a Fender Bassman, which sound incredible. And that's who the, the amp behind me, Marshall. Jim Marshall stole Marshall's schematics from. He took the same circuitry and modded it and created Marshall. Hence the plexis and stuff. So, is Jim Marshall an innovator? No, he did the same thing this guy did. The owner of this company was modding Marshall's because no one liked the way that Marshall sounded like without effects. So he'd go in and so, and he was a Marshall authorized dealer and his sales went through the roof and so did Marshall's after he started modding them. So with that said, this is set up really cool. It's a 40 watt head. Um, you got clean overdrive, overdrive one, two, and a solo boost. So I can actually control a volume and boost my solos on there um, according how I, I feel um, I want the volume. Now, Looking at this, on it has modes. It's got first gear, second gear, third gear. So there's three overdrive channels and a clean channel. Now, um, I'm running the same effects in the key so, so that you can hear, if you wanted to compare it, go back a video to it and compare it against this. So I was asked what my favorite all time head was. It's this right here. I've owned Plexis and JCM 800s and JCM 900s. Matter of fact, one of my students and good friends, Mike Crown Miller, bought my JCM 800 head um, many years ago. Um, and I, I've had probably 60, 70 different heads, all kinds of makers from custom audio to um, Sure to the JCMs. Um, but this head has everything you'll, you'll ever need or want. And again, the foot set to, is set up, and here's the solo boost, and the solo boost will work on the clean. So if I'm here, yeah. it's, it's on A and B, it's got a, a Y split cable in the back. But this is, um.
consider makes a great head is the versatility of a head. The design and the construction of this is built like a brick house. It looks great. Um, the Tolex is never the same on no two amps from what I understand. And if you listen, there's a lot of separation in between my pickups. So it has a lot of that separation on there, which I, I like. Now, if we go into here, let's see. Let's do a, if I go on there, let's do, let's do my mode to gear three. Um, I think I unclicked that. There's the volume. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, adjust the gate. Let me, let me just go through without any overdrive and let's just get the effects. versatile. Um, now if I add a tube screamer to it, signal is a fourth game stage. So it's got like a solo boost. So there's an extra overdrive in there, like a clean DB boost. Well, I'm putting it at zero and just use it as a boost. You probably could do that as well. And then just take the solo channel off. Now you can use like, uh, let's say, here's the other thing.
the tube screw on, roll your volume up. Tube screamers on. Roll the volume off. So you have a lot of options that you can do with this amp. The gain stages are really good. I really like the way. If I take this off, then I'm running my two over five. It's more in between, but it's so much cleaner. It's a very clean head with a lot of separation, which makes it very dynamic for different genres. Um, clean is what you're looking for. It's got a solo boost on there. Um, it's just a great head. And I don't know, here, let me see. If I do it on clean. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
out of there it's a great head I've had this for a while now I got this for a thousand dollars it was a steal at Sam Ash sorry mr. Chris over at Sam Ash uh, yeah <laughs> I know he wanted it as soon as I saw it I bought it with it. I played it for two seconds and bought it right away <laughs> It's got a great sound to it. <laughs> it's a great setting amp, and it, I like it because it's versatile. You can play it like this. You can do a lot of genres. This isn't a sleeper amp. They're very expensive. I think around new they were like twenty five, and then you paid tax. So it's about it's a three thousand dollar head. By the time you get the pedals and you know, hundred, two hundred, and fifty, and a cab, you know, you're looking at six thousand dollars by the time you're all said and done. If you get a great cab. This is a great cab, by the way, but you can get stuff to you. Just depends on everything, how you how you look at it. That's why I went to Fractal. It's more consistent, more reliant. If I go out on the road, the Fractal is going to sound the same in every PA. I can put it on a loop, and I can walk into the crowd before we actually play and listen to how it sounds on a loop and tell them, hey, cut the, cut the mids, cut the, the treb, you know, uh, you know, knock it down from eight to five. You know, so it's it's one of those things. But this head is uh, very versatile. And the, what I like about it is the, the controls are subtle. They're not very, like, it's, you move it a hair and it's right there. These you have to actually go up, you know. Like <laughs> to manipulate and get all the sounds you want. I think right now it's at a half power and I can overpower a drummer easily with this head. It says 40 watts, but it, it sounds more like 100 watts to me. Again, the decibel thing on 50 watts to 100 watts is only 3 dB. The most you, you see the dB is in the clean channel for headroom. So, you know, there's a lot of things about miss. These have great transformers in there that harness the, the power of the tube so that when it breaks up and hits that power where it releases it, it's, a, it's probably the most important factor in the head that a lot of people don't understand to com compare to tubes. 
you change a transformer in any head, like I had JVM heads, I took those crappy Chinese transformers out and put like Weber transformers and it was like night and day. So transformers have a very huge impact on your sound as well as speakers and cabs. I mean, there's all kinds of variables, not just tubes. So take that for a grain of salt and whatever. Um, I think these are the best made heads I've ever played through. Um, they're hot rotted marshals and they're subtle and they're easy to tweak. Again, I got first, second, third gear. I got a solo boost volume with a DB boost so I can manipulate my solos on a boost through whatever channel I'm on, including the cleans. It's just a great head. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This head I'll never get rid of, ever. And I've had this AVT head for a long time. It sounds great with Fractal. I take the cab off, run it in the back. You have to adjust every patch, but it sounds great. I've used that at practice. I run through a cab with the head. Um, and I have two of the same patches that if I have to go into the PA, I have it right there. So it's an awesome head, um, better than these, but these are sleeper heads. No one knows a lot about Splawn. No one's ever seen them. They're not really popular. Um, they were probably in the nineties when he was modding them. Uh, it's one of my favorite heads that I've ever played through, you know, and I, again, I've had everything. So, um, I probably won't do too many videos. Uh, I've had a couple major surgeries in the last couple years, and I don't want to go into that. I'm fine. I'm not sick that way, but I do have high blood pressure and diabetes. I get that when I was about 40 from touring, drinking, and bad things, which we all need to stay away from and take care of our bodies, but uh, it, it cost me some of my health. And uh, I just recently, my sugars went up, but my weight dropped. I'm on a Ozempic. I've been on Ozempic for a couple years now, but my A1C went up. So they doubled my dosage and I didn't have it for a couple weeks because I had to see the doctor and I couldn't get in, blah, blah, blah. So I, I feel really ill, like nauseous and sick and my stomach is messed up. So um, I just need to take a break for a little bit and... I'm not disappearing. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Thank you um, for all you new subscribers and my old ones as well. You guys are greatly appreciated. The channel is growing. I've hit 900. My goal is just to get over a thousand and get some watch hours so that I can have some con more control over my channel. Likes and subscribes always help. It's one of those things that, you know, with the way that YouTube set up, they try to block a lot of people. Um, and I've gone on other people's channels and looked at their older videos where they had more stuff. Now, I know during COVID, a lot of people had more views because people were at home. But I can see that they, the algorithms that block people's views, they blocked mine for a while. But it seems like they've kind of just said, you know, this guy keeps growing. We can't stop him. So thank you, everybody, for enjoying the channel and watching the channel. Um, the next video I do probably maybe at the end of next week or something I'll do I'll do um we'll do a shred video lick thing with all my weird licks from all the reels and how I do them and my technique behind them that, and how I developed them and maybe uh you guys can learn from the technique it'll definitely improve your playing they're not easy some are so so but most of them are very hard but It'll help you guys in whatever genre. And again, I, like I said, you can take any anything and just apply it differently. I mean, jazz and blues are the same chords as metal. You just take the overdrive off and you play different chord progressions and different inversions. And you got jazz. I mean, there's really no difference theory-wise. It's just how you apply it. So I... I The biggest thing is for you guys to learn it so that you can improve, you know, because I'm getting older and I don't think I'm going to really tour tour ever again, but I do have the white snake scorpions thing and I was approached by some other stuff. So we'll see what happens, but I'm going to take a little break for maybe a week or so until I get my medicine adjusted because it makes me feel ill and not want to play. Unfortunately, it's hard to sit around and, uh, well, you're nauseous. Um. Thank you for Tito's, for the new hat and some liquor in a, <laughs> again, liquor, but um, it was in a gift bag. 
Um, and they're not a sponsor of the channel. I was in an event. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is my favorite head of all time. I don't think there's a better made head. There may be heads that sound better on an overdrive. There may be heads that sound better on a clean. But they don't have everything that this head has to offer. Um, it's an incredible head. If you're into heads, I highly recommend this. Um, if you're into EVH heads, the JSX is the best of both worlds. The cleans are great. And it's got three channels, so just massive amounts of volume. Um, this is a gain head. It sounds more gainy. Don't let the Satriani thing fool you. It has not. It has nothing to do with its tone whatsoever. It sounds nothing like Satriani, and I think this is why these were not such a big deal. Again, even these, the ABT heads, they got crappy reviews because it's like a hybrid head. And if I put an overdrive in front of the channels, it sounds good, but it has acoustic simulators and everything built into the set, 150 watts. Sounds great, and it's lightweight. So anyway, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a week or so. Um, hopefully I get over being nauseous. And peace out. Let me know if there's something else you want to see, and I'll check in the comments as the week comes up. Peace.